It is my distinct pleasure and honor to introduce to you the president of Rotary this year, <laughs> Mr. Dave Cannon. Thank you, everybody. This is, a, this is a realization of kind of a dream that I've had for a while, and I'm really excited to be here and to see all you guys out there. Uh, I'm not going to take too much of your time, but I do want to tell you a couple little stories before we unveil the new Blackfoot Bronco mascot statue. Uh, the first story that you need to hear uh, involves Rotary, because a lot of people don't know what Rotary is all about and the Rotary Club of Blackfoot is the sponsoring club for this Blackfoot Bronco statue. Uh, my story starts a long time ago. My grandpa, Alan Cannon, was a Blackfoot Rotarian, and I just became the president for a one-year stint uh, back in July, and when I did, I kind of looked a little close, uh, a little more closely at a plaque that we have that has all our past Rotary Club presidents on it, and I saw my grandpa's name there. He was the club president from 1944 to 1945, so that's a long time ago, uh, and my introduction into Rotary came in about 1997 when uh, my grandpa, who was born in 1899, was 98 years old and was still going to Rotary on a weekly basis but needed a little, a little bit of help to get there. And so I would start uh, driving him to, to Rotary Club meeting, and, and then I would stay with him and, and kind of uh, attend the club that way. Now, he had this dream of his. He had uh, seven or six kids and a lot of grandkids, and one of his dreams was to have a, a, a child or a grandchild that followed in his tradition of being a Rotarian. And uh, all of his children, he struck out with them, and he struck out with 34 of his 35 grandkids. But I was the one that decided, okay, I'm going to do this just for my grandpa. Uh, and so I, start, I became a Rotarian, and then I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to stay in this club long enough so that, you know, I won't feel guilty when I quit. Uh, my grandpa died at, at the age of 100 years old, or 101 years old in the year uh, 2000. And so, anyway, I thought, you know, it was one of those Seinfeld moments. It was like, okay, how long do you need to stay before you feel guilty about getting out of the club now? Uh, anyway, I stayed a few years, and then a funny thing happened, and that is that I started thinking, you know, I really kind of like this. And what I like about Rotary is what we're doing here today. Uh, Rotary Club is a service club, and it gives us as Rotarians the opportunity to make a difference and to give back a little bit to the communities that we live in and to the, and to the communities that we raise our kids in and to make the community and the nation and the world a little bit better of a place. And so I'm really thankful for the time that I've spent in the Rotary Club, and I, uh, and I hope that everyone appreciates the the work and the uh, effort that the club put in to projects like this one and, and other projects that we've done around the, around the city. When I, uh, when I knew that I was going to become the club president in July, I started thinking, you know, what could we do as a service project that would be fun and that would kind of be a unifying event for the city of Blackfoot. And the idea that I had was we ought to put a big life-size or bigger uh, bucking bronco statue out in front of the high school. And uh, yeah, let's hear it. All right. And over the following uh, six to eight months, that's kind of been my little pet project and my dream. And today is a realization of that dream. Uh, I, we would not be here without the, uh, the, the support, and, and I've just got to throw props out to the business community of Blackfoot because the reception to this idea was very enthusiastic and people were 
enthusiastic, not just with pats on the back and good lucks, but by opening their wallets and contributing to this cause. And so along with the Bucking Bronco statue, we've got some nice uh, slabs of travertine up here that kind of frame this, and they recognize the Rotary Club as the sponsoring party to this event, and also the, the donors that have made this possible by contributing money to this cause. So let's give a big round of applause to the donors that we have. <laughs> and I want to thank, before I go on, and, I'm, and we're getting close, but, but I can't go on without thanking uh, Principal Pierce and Vice Principal Lori Kay and the rest of Blackfoot High School who have really cooperated and made this possible. They've been great to work with. Let's give uh, your, your uh, staff here, your principal and, and, and your administrative staff here a round of applause. Too. Okay, let's cut to the chase here and let's do this. What we're going to do, I'm going to cue the band and, and the band is, has agreed to uh, usher in this uh, Bronco unveiling with the playing of the school fight song. The cheerleaders are going to give us some cheers and, and uh, we appreciate their effort too. And before I go further, I've got to get properly attired. I gotta tell you, I'm a, I'm a Blackfoot High graduate from 1987, and uh, I've always been proud to wear the, the green and white colors and to call myself a Bronco. Okay, so with that, and, and we're gonna invite our Rotarians and our donors that are here on the chairs to, when you hear the music play, to come up here, and you guys are gonna be our uh, unveiling team. And I note that the Bronco has an ear poking through there. I'm just praying that we don't tear that thing down as that tarp goes over it. So, uh, <laughs> band, let's do it. <laughs> the whole statue just falls over it. Oh. So much harder than you think. Stop. 